While you was in a cell, I feel I bailed Oh, we had resistance And you took a hit, you never failed But the habit didn't Had your inhibitions I'm so mad I didn't listen Life was grabbing my attention Should've had an intervention Breathe, take a hit again My mind stayed at the tip That shady shit I hope they miss again If man invented time Let's rewind it just a little bit I'm sick of always feeling Like a middleman When death will take the innocent And life will fill the minutes In these minute men Whoever sees this And subscribes right now We get a free headache We got Eminem and JID on deck What do you expect? What's going on YouTube? Listen, I know there's been A lot of build up A lot of excitement For me to work my way To this one It is finally time For Eminem and JID Fuel But before I get any further Listen, if you like the shirt That I'm wearing bars Gotta catch them all You like the hat that I'm wearing. We got hats, hoodies, merch, everything that you need. Knoxillemusic.com, a great way to support the channel directly and the content that I put out. You want to cop yours, I'll put all links down there. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Eminem, JID, step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Smoking trees, I'm riding around. Come to my side of town. Lately, it's yeah. been going, going, uh, going, going, yeah. going, going, going down. All of my niggas gon' ride with it in the pocket. The rocket like Kelly Mom. Mama told me the power was in the tongue, but it probably ain't powerful as a gun. All of you little cowards get devoured. I'm giving out flowers to anyone. I ain't been out the house in a minute, cause I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding my business, I'm business minding. I've been spending some time with the minister. Cause them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of God in the sinister. Try to pray and repent in the synagogue or a mosque, a temple, a church, them brown skin cinnamon niggas hurting and murders a common courtesy for certainly RPB on the shirt, search, wow. lurk, murk, squirt, dirt first. My nigga doing four plus eight without a court date, talked the other day, he say he doing okay, he good, he gaining weight, then got a sharp shake, he made, he say they play, they got a partake. Wow. Homie got a heart full of hate and a face full of war paint, eyes all red full of rage and it's hard to escape from a dark place, east side niggas from the A niggas all ages, trying to sell a pound of the dog cage, all the OGs round town was all age, danger sex and drugs, X and all rated, danger sex and drugs, shit me out. But don't get this shit fucked up, my boy. You lucked up once, nigga. Double it up by dribbling and passing to the cup and triple double to get to the basket. I tell you what, that's the biggest thing for me is the flows. It's the flows of JID. He finds such unique pockets. We've talked about the polyrhythms. I did a full breakdown of the forever story and just the unique flows this man brings to the table and like the drastic cadence changes. I love when he goes in like this lower sort of laid back, almost lazy cadence. And then he hits you with more like the aggressive, higher treble, like attack cadence. Just the way that he just switches and comes in and out of accelerations, man. Rhyme schemes are airtight too. You know we're going to do a breakdown on the bars in a sec. They cash and cut a look, cover up, bundle up, better up, better up. Um, talk a lot of smack and I can back it up. Shot a wanna shack, wanna shack it up. Ooh. I can put a puss on a platter like a platter puss. Nap a head, nigga, hair and it up. I said, Barbara, nigga, tat it up. I won't argue, nigga, mad at fuck, cause they ain't compatible. I'm finna catapult, but niggas know it's going. Wow. You talk about technical MC right there. That was smooth from Jitty, man. Come on. Synagogue. Nigga, spinning. Mom, mama told me. Look, all of my niggas gon' ride with it in the pocket, the rocket like Kelly Mom. Mama told me to in the pocket, the rocket, right? Gun bar right there, but also having like a pocket rocket, like a rocket for an arm. And he shouts out quarterback Kellen Mond. Was it AM? Drafted for the Vikings. Kellen Mond, baby. Look, all of my niggas gon' ride with it in the pocket, the rocket like Kelly Mom. Mama he didn't really pan out in the NFL though. Told me the power was in the tongue, but it probably ain't powerful as a gun. I told me the power was in the tongue, but it ain't as powerful as in a gun. Just a dope sort of flip of power to powerful. And then him say, you know, words can hurt, words can fire, words can spit, but yeah, he ain't doing the same damage as a gun. It's a simple line, but it just, it hits harder, doesn't it? It's that street knowledge and wisdom that it gives you, Jitty. The rocket like Kelly Mom, mama told me the power was in the tongue, but it probably ain't powerful as a gun. All of you little cowards get devoured, I'm giving out flowers to anyone. I ain't been out cowards devoured flowers anyone power tongue powerful gun see how it goes internal ow 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 to the external no i'm not talking about a bruise powerful as a gun all of you little cowards get devoured i'm giving out flowers to anyone I ain't been i'm giving out flowers to anyone that just hits differently right there for me too because like flowers Different type of flowers. We're not like giving compliments and someone their flowers that they deserve. We're giving out funeral flowers to anyone. And there's a dope little shit, like just like a yell that's been caked into the mix in the instrumentation. Powerful as a gun. All of you little cowards get devoured. I'm giving out flowers in. Right there. Shit. And it just kind of like reverberates and hits at the back of the mix. I ain't been at the house in a minute because I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding. I ain't with it if the money is miniature. He's also got some nice alliteration, MMM schemes. He's on track with Eminem. I ain't been at the house in a minute because I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding my business. I'm business minding. I've been spending some time with the... Even that just simple flip. I've been minding my business. 
I'm business minded. Just taking that and flipping the reverse, and obviously the meaning is different on the back end. Cause I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding my business, I'm business minded. I've been spending some time with the minister. Cause them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of God in the sinister. Try to pray. I've been spending time with the minister because they still spinning shit. But he says spinning and it sounds like spending because they're making money, right? In the city of God. This is interesting to me. Time with the minister. Cause them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of God in the sinister. Try to pray and repent. Still sinning in the city. City of God, sinning, city, sinister, minister, S's, slithering through on that, man. Again, he's got a nice alliteration punches throughout this, but City of God, movie about the Brazilian favelas. And what's interesting is I'm thinking about the pocket rocket lines, and Rocket was in City of God, and he took photographs of these drug lures and like, you know, just different struggles for those trying to gain power to run the favela. And what was interesting was how... Those photographs were used by the press and actually helped increase the notoriety of the local drug lords, right? So it's almost like taking something like this because he had a passion for it. How the movie end, right? He he had a choice. He could have like ex exposed all the corruption and like released the photos of the police getting bribed. But in the end, what he decided to go to school instead and to study. But I just take it as something as simple as like, the power of photography, right? And spinning it in a different way. In this case, photography of, of crime and these awful events, but yet it increased notoriety for these drug members and these gang members. And it also was spun by the press in different ways and spun by the police, much in the same way that Jitty is saying about ministers who spend their messages for the spending, for the money. But are they actually practicing what they preach? Because mm. I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding my business, I'm business minding. I've been spending some time with the minister. Because them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of God in the sinister. Try to pray and Exactly, because they're still sinning, right? Practice what you preach, you that they're still making money off of it. Just give your 10% to the Lord, baby. With the minister. Because them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city. Bum, bum, bum. Bump just that little string off to the side. This is a menacing ass beat. I love it. Be a God in a sinister. Try to pray and repent in a synagogue or a mosque, a temple, a church, and brown skin cinnamon. Synagogue, a temple, a mosque. He's just basically naming every holy place of worship depending on your religious preference. It doesn't matter to him. Sinister. Try to pray and repent in a synagogue or a mosque, a temple, a church, and brown skin cinnamon. Niggas hurting and murders a common courtesy for certainly RPB on the shirt. Search, lurk, murk, squirt, dirt. Brown skin sentiment. The common courtesy for certainly RPB on the shirt. Search, lurk, murk. RIP be on the shirt. And I love how it goes. Shirt, search, lurk, murk, bop, 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 bop. He turns his voice into like the percussive hits right there and just switches it. Very staccato delivery on that, which is dope. But obviously RIP on the shirts because now you're dead. So we're putting your face on the shirt, searching for you. Just simple one words, but it just shows the transition. Men niggas hurting and murder is a common courtesy for certain. Murder is a common courtesy. What a fucking bar in line and way to put that. RPP on the shirt, search, lurk, murk, squirt. So we're searching for you, then we're lurking on you, then we murk you by squirting it, and then dirt, right? So now you've been murked, you've been murdered, squirted, now you go down into the dirt, right? You go six feet deep in the grave. First 48. First 48 is a television series about homicides because the rate of success of solving a homicide goes down drastically like halves doesn't it within the first 48 hours so get it first 48 because we've just committed a homicide and you hear the first that he says to fit in the rhyme scheme and the ad lib goes 48 shouts it out in the background that's a smooth flip down 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 they use the downs right there in the instrumentation as a part of the percussive kicks down 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 that was smooth for certainly our love the production throughout this album so far be on the shirt search lurk murk square dirt first 48. my nigga doing four plus eight without a court date talk to the first 48 ma da 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 see right there how he just switches up the flow his patterns goes faster through it and then he goes with that higher sort of cadence and more aggressive delivery that's just dope man when you're like downhill very bassy like lower here and then you Couple that with all of a sudden a flow switch and more of like a treble higher delivery up here in this range, more aggressive. Man, love that as the beat kicks. Then he flips the four T8, four plus eight. Think about that. Street lingo, four, 12, the cops, but also he's doing a bitty, he's doing 12. Merc, square, dirt, first. Oh, yeah. My nigga doing 
four plus eight without a court date. Talked the other day, he said he doing okay. He good, he gaining weight, and got a sharp shank. He made, he say they play, they gotta partake. Homie, he good, he gaining weight. Hang on. He doing okay, he good, he gaining weight, and got a sharp shank. He gaining weight and got a sharp shank, right? He say they play, they gotta partake. Say they play. He got to partake. Man, that multi-syllable internal to external rhyme schemes is ridiculous. Today he say he doing okay. He good, he gaining weight. They got a sharp shake. He made, he say they play. They got to partake. If they play, I got to partake. Like, this is just the reality of the violence when you're in prison and what you have to deal with. Jitty is just having no filter on the pictures that he paints. He really is a street poet, man. Reminds me of, like... A, a new Nas, right? But obviously he's his own artist. He's got his own pockets, his own flows, but it's the way that he weaves his words and paints these pictures and has just these unorthodox delivery styles too and pockets. He say he doing okay. He good, he gaining weight and got a sharp shank. He made, he say they play, they got a partake. Homie got a heart full of hate and a face full of war paint. Eyes all red full of rage and it's hard to escape from a dark place. East side niggas from the A niggas all ages. Trying to sell a pound of the dog cage. All the OGs round town was all age. Trying to sell a pound in the dog cage, like the dog pound versus like a pound of product that you're pushing and selling or give them a pound I niggas from the a niggas all ages trying to sell a pound of the dog cage all the ogs around town was all age danger sex and all the ogs around town was our age that line just hits differently like think about that an og is supposed to be someone who's older who's wise jitty is not that old right because the life expectancy rate you don't really make it truly in the old age so really at this point he is an og Mm. Hey niggas all ages trying to sell a pound of the dog cage. He's just again painting the realities of where he's from and what it's like, man. Survival of the fittest, really. The rage, the darkness can get to you, the violence. And it's hard to escape from a dark place. East side niggas from the A niggas all it's hard to escape from a dark place. Mm. Ages, trying to sell a pound of the dog cage. All the OGs round town was all age. Danger sex and drugs, X and all rated. Danger sex and drugs should be all rated. But don't get this shit. Danger sex and drugs. X and R rated, like an X rated film or an R rated film that was life was like for us, but also makes me think of like X, ecstasy, pushing product to the R, like ARs. Town was all age, danger, sex and drugs, X and R rated. Danger, sex and drugs should be all rated. But don't get this shit fucked up, my boy, you lucked up once, nigga, double it up. I dribble and pass it to the cup and triple double it, get to the basket, get the cash and cut a luck, cover up, bundle up, batter up. Damn, that flow is ridiculous. And we go out of a basketball scheme into a batter baseball scheme, but also like triple doubling up, like triple doubling your money versus like if you're dribbling then you're dishing it then you're scoring you're getting assists you're getting it off the board you're shooting it you're locking it in so you're making that triple double hit and pass it to the cup and triple double it get to the basket get the cash and cut a luck cover up bundle up batter up yeah you're stacking the stat sheet basically pass it to the cup and triple double it get to the basket get the cash and cut a luck cover up bundle up batter up um, talk a lot of smack and i can back it up shot a one shack one shack it up I love how you hear like the bat being hit when he goes batter up. Shorty want a shag? Did he just pull out British lingo right there? Makes me think of Austin Powers. Okay. Put the pussy on a platter like a platypus. Hello PPP alliteration right there. Put a puss on a platter like a platypus Nap a head, nigga, hair, nat it up I said, Barbara, nigga, pat it up I won't argue, nigga, bad it for Cause they ain't compatible, I'm finna catapult but That makes me think of uh, Alliance and Fabo Tattoo, right? Tat it up Because in that video, Fabo goes Barbara! And it's like a famous line, right? He was asked about it later on He said it was Barbara Bush but at the time, I think he was talking about Barbara as tattoo artist, wasn't it? I said, Barbara, nigga, tat it up. I won't argue, nigga, mad as fuck. Even Barbara, tat it up. Argue, mad as fuck. Love the internals, the externals. Again, man is playing ping pong on these rhymes. Compatible, I'm finna catapult, but niggas knows more. If I don't run out of fuel, what are y'all gonna do? And it feels like he's never gonna run out of fuel. You think he's retiring? Mmm. Run out of fuel. Run out of fuel. For a couple decades, I've been letting this text ray from that day that I met Dre. So you live with the catch trays from the second you press play. I suggest they do not test like an essay. Cause like where my homies out west day. We can just say I'm like an R A P E R. Got so many essays. 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 Wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P, did he? Yep. R P. Rest in peace, Biggie and Pop. Both of y'all should. Trying to beef, we can see my
No. 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 Did you hear that? That's something Benzino could not write. There's been a lot of crazy bars on this. I was going to let it play, but no. That was a ridiculous P. Diddy scheme. Shots fired. We'll get back to that and break it down. Put a hit on me like KVD. Get him. That's the only way you're going to be killing me. Ain't going to be on no beat. Silly. I beat the beat. Silly on the grind like teeth. Gritty. Call me OP. City. You think it's overweight? It's just me. Getting this me. And it ain't going to be pretty. Used to be a tall and I grew a little each day till I became God like James Todd. Now your arms are too short to be K bra. And beat they small like DJ Paul. My new fans better than your truck by far. Suck my balls. You either smoke crack or you're playing stickball in the street. Cause you must be on base if you think you could touch my car. But if the whole world was out to get you, it'd have turned you to a powder cake too. Cow written house, spitting rounds, detect shoots like. And that ain't no sound effect. Neither was that six hour well, let's loose. I don't condone gun violence at schools, but I can't get these voices out my head. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. That's the most content on the ridiculous bar again. Continent and constant compliments give me confidence across the common sense and incompetence. I'm cognizant the conflicts a consequence of accomplishments encompassed through competition. I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness. No conscious, I conjure this King Kong and just call me kamikaze. I'm concocting this. Nobody 16s are touching these. My fucking index fingers fucking the Nina. Clutching the nine millimeter, tucking the heat. Got the toaster like a Nina. This muffin, no, I mean toaster, like you dreamed or something. But it's in a holster, I proceed to bust it. Fuck around and get popped like a leader, Hutchins, like I'm Alec Baldwin. What I mean is fucking you down, who the raw then? No, like I shoot them all in. If you think you're fucking with me, you're gonna suffer the fucking reaper. Because the reaper's coming to heat, then I'm either crummy, I keep a plenty fuel while the beat, I'm punishing you. I won't. What the fuck y'all gonna do? That might be my favorite Eminem verse on this album so far. What? I suggest they do not take. Let's break this down now. Y'all gonna do. That alliteration with the whole CCC scheme was ridiculous. For a couple decades, been letting this text break. Ever since I met Dre, man, I just love how he taps in with this. He knows he's setting the tone right here. For a couple decades, I've been letting this text ray From that day that I met Dre So you liable to catch strays from the second you press play I suggest they Liable to catch strays from the second they press play Because he's firing shots everywhere on the track Lyrical bullets From that day that I met Dre So you liable to catch strays from the second you press play I suggest they do not test like an essay Cause like where my homies out west day We can just say I'm like an R-A-P-E-R -E Got so many essays 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 Wait that's a ridiculous essay scheme. Before we get into the full P. Diddy bar, right? Test him. Don't test him like an essay. Writing an essay versus out west they. Why out west? Shouting out Mexicans out west using essay, right? Spanish slang. So he's using essay there. Flipping that versus flipping it into S space A. Sexual harassment, which sets up the P. Diddy bar. This is a stupid scheme. If you press play, I suggest they do not test like an essay. Cause like where my homies out west day, we can just say I'm like an R A P E R. Got so many essays, essays, essays. Wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P. Diddy, yep, R P. And then R A P E R, which spells. Can I say it? Or are we gonna get demonetized? You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? He left a P out of it, right? So instead of rapper R A P P E R, he goes R A P E R. Fill that in. S -A -S -A -S -A -S -A. Wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P, did he? Yep, R P rest. So he left out a P space did he? Did he actually do that and really spell the real word, the fun one, or he flips it into P space did he? Puff Daddy, who has plenty of sexual harassment allegations against him sexual assault sa come on sa wait he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a p did he yep rp rest in peace biggie and pop both of y'all should be living yep but i ain't trying to beef with him because he might put a hit on me like kvd get him that's the only way you're gonna be killing me ain't gonna be on no beat silly i beat the beat silly on the grind like teeth gritty call me op city you think it's up? right beef with him because he might put a hit on me i think what's really interesting about this line we remember in kill shot when he talks about, you know, did he put the hit out that got Pac killed? And that's what Eminem says at the end, right? And now since the arrest of Dwayne Davis, we have had confirmation, at least from him, 
that P. Diddy put out a million dollar bounty on Pox Head, right? So this is what he's saying. He's going to sick him on me because he's been arrested last year, right? We had the whole situation about that because you had who killed Pac. And it turns out Orlando Anderson, who's now dead, was the gunman, right? Davis was in the car. So he shouts him out, says that Pitty's gonna, Diddy is going to sick him on Eminem. But there's another level to this that, to me, is diabolical. Wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P, did he? Yep, RP, rest in peace, Biggie and Pac, both of y'all should be living. Yep, but I ain't trying to beef with him, because he might put a hit on me like KVD. Get him. That's the only way you're going to be. Keefy D is Dwayne Davis's nickname, Keefy D, right? But right there, Biggie should still be here, not just Pac. Because there's been whisperings for years that Biggie was, had a hit on him from Diddy. You see how Eminem is dancing around and painting that picture and where those implications come into play. It's not just Pac that he said rest in peace to. That's key. It's not just Pac. He said Biggie as well. There's an implication there. Yep, but I ain't trying to beef with him Cause he might put a hit on me like KVD Get him That's the only way you're gonna be Killing me Ain't gonna be on no beat Silly I beat the beat silly on the Be killing beat silly It's ridiculous the rhyme scheme The way he sets it up Da 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 It's like a super staccato punch here On the B The hard E sound And then killing He says that faster Like almost Slow it down Punch that word And then the two syllable rhyme scheme that's a part of this multi after it he says faster it's a super dope flow that he does man da 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 love that biggie and pop both of y'all should be living yep but i ain't trying to beef with him because he might put a hit on me like kvd get him that's the only way you're gonna be killing me ain't gonna be on no beat silly so he's telling diddy the only way you're gonna kill me is literally kill me in real life because you're not gonna kill me on this beat and in a rap battle me like kvd get him that's the only way you're gonna be killing me ain't gonna be on no beat silly beat the beat silly on the grind like teeth gritty call me op city you think it's overweight it's just me getting this grind like teeth gritting like you grind your teeth together versus him grinding beat silly on the grind like teeth gritty call me op city you think it's overweight it's just me getting this me and ob city be killing b city the way he just fit obesity into that rhyme scheme is just absurd from Eminem. Just highlights his high-level technical rhyme writing. But then over, comma, wait. Like, wait for it. It's over. Wait. Versus being overweight like being obese. Obesity. That's a smooth double. On the grind like teeth. Gritty. Call me obesity. You think it's overweight. It's just me. Getting this me. And it ain't gonna be pretty. Used to be a tall. Then I grew a little each day. Till I beat King God like James Todd. Now your arms are too short to beat K-Bra. And beat they small. Your arms are too short to BK bra and shouting back out to NYC, baby. Come on now. But James Todd as well, LL Cool J, used to be God like James Todd. LL Cool J was in a movie back in the day, In Too Deep, where he played God. That was his character's name. That's smooth. City, you think it's overweight? It's just me getting this me, and it ain't gonna be pretty. Nah. Used to be a tall, and I grew a little each day till I became God, like James Todd. Now your arms are too short yeah. to be K. Bra, and DJ Small, like, like DJ Paul. <laughs> My new fans better than your. And then obviously, uh, DJ Paul has that condition where you know his one arm is smaller than the other one. That's why he always wears sort of like that cast and that like hand cover over it, right? So small arms, in this case, brawling with Eminem. Name's Todd, now your arms are too short yeah. to be K-Bra. And he they small, like, like DJ Paul. My new fan's better than your truck by far. It suck my balls. You either smoke crack or you're playing stick ball in the street because you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch my car. Yeah. My new Benz. There's an interesting one here because we're talking about, you know, not having the arms, not being able to box to you know, lacking in ammunition with Eminem on the track, being short of arms in that case versus like literally in a fight being short of arm because P. Diddy is also very short. But then I wonder with this Ben scheme that sets up the stickball scheme and the car scheme, Ben's, who else do we know who has short little cute dinosaur arms and runs around roaring like a dinosaur as he's like eating at mom's spaghetti who's M secret fan, Ben's. Benzino? Is there a little bit there? Short yeah. to be K-Bra and DJ Small like, like DJ Paul. <laughs> my new Benz better than your truck by far. It suck my balls. You either smoke. My new Benz better than your truck by far and suck my balls. The balls comes in for the baseball scheme. Crack to your playing stick ball. Like his balls versus literally like playing baseball, playing stick ball. DJ Paul. <laughs> my new Benz better than your truck by far. It suck my balls. You either smoke crack to your playing stick ball in the street because you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch my car. Yeah. But it's the whole. On base. 
Like you're playing baseball in the street and we used to have like different markers, like a lamppost was first base or a car could be second base. So in this case, like going, using M's car as a base, his bends that he's talking about versus you must be on base, like being a base head. You must be a crackhead basically. If you think you can keep up with me and my level that I'm bragging at. So base to baseball scheme versus base to drug scheme. And then base on this track, like the base that's booming in the background. You either smoke crack or you're playing stickball in the street. Cause you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch my car. But it's the whole. You hear that bass. Boom. Like you just hear it underneath that little 808 kick. You either smoke crack or you're playing stickball in the street. Cause you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch. Literally when he says base, the base hits to accentuate that B hit. Bass, boom, and then it just rides out in the mix. That's dope. Far, it suck my balls. You either smoke crack or you're playing stickball in the street because you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch my car. Yeah. But if the whole world was out to get you, it'd have turned you to a powder keg too. Cow written house, spitting rounds, detect shoots like, and that ain't no sound effect. Neither was that six out. Obviously, Kyle Rittenhouse, who we know the infamous story with him and killing the protesters in that case, and then he was cleared of it, but Eminem taking that and flipping it back. Two cow written house, spitting rounds, detect shoots like, and that ain't no sound effect. Neither was that six out. So he's he's mimicking like Kyle Rittenhouse, like literally firing on unarmed people. Take two cow Rittenhouse, spitting round to take shoots like and that ain't no sound effect. Neither was that six out well, let's loose. I don't condone gun violence at schools, but I can't get these voices out my head. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. Not the most content on the they're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. That's a ridiculous bar. Alphabet soup has different alphabets, right? And literally, you could spell out words as you put it in your mouth to eat it. And they're inserting words in my mouth because they're thinking, just because I'm like poking fun at these different situations of people and shouting out like the Columbine shooters or I'm mentioning Kyle Rittenhouse or other killers that all of a sudden I condone, for instance, school shootings. Don't take it that far. I'm just using my freedom of speech. Let's hit schools, but I can't get these voices out my head. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. Not the most content on the continent. And constant compliments give me confidence. Across the common sense and incompetence. You hear the record scratch here? After this record scratch, just comes a ridiculous alliteration scheme with the C's. Content on the continent. And constant compliments give me my head. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear like whispering in the background, almost like a devil on his shoulder whispering in his ear to him. I condone gun violence at schools, but I can't get these voices out my head. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. Not the most content. Oh, it says kill, kill, kill. That's what he says in the back. That's dope. Violence at schools, but I can't get these voices out my head. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. Not the most content on the continent. And constant compliments give me confidence. I'm across the common sense and incompetence. I'm cognizant the conflicts a consequence of accomplishments. Accomplished through competition. I've conquered and conquered into unconsciousness. No conscious I Right, of accomplishments conquered through competition. The continent and constant compliments give me confidence. Across constant compliments give him confidence, helps him rise up with all the stands and his fans and how he's doing. The common sense and incompetence. I'm cognizant the conflicts a consequence. Yeah, the conflicts a consequence. Right, that was it, the cognizance, and then the conflict's a consequence. And you think about it, I love the way that he sets that up, basically saying, like, all this conflict and drama that I've been in is just a result of I'm in a competitive sport. That's what hip hop is. It's about competition and one up and emceeing. In this case, since I've been so successful and I've had this platform for so long, it's no surprise of all this conflict that I deal with and all the repercussions and consequences from it. Smooth flips, man. Compliments give me confidence across the common sense and incompetence. I'm cognizant the conflicts a consequence of accomplishments encompassed through competition. I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness. The conscious, the conscious, this King Kong and just call me kamikaze. I'm I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness. This King Kong when I'm on the microphone, man. Competition. I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness. The conscious, the conscious, this King Kong and just call me. It's almost like a conquer. Hitting his head too. Spent to compass through competition. I've conquered and conked him into unconsciousness. The conscious, I conjured this King Kong and just call me Kamikaze. I'm concocting this. Nobody 16. Call me Kamikaze. Shout out to his album, Kamikaze. He's concocting this, like in the cockpit of this move. Flips, man. Camera's about to die. Sorry guys, we're back. I'm cognizant the conflicts a consequence of accomplishments accomplished through Actually, I spray back. They're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup. Not the most content on the continent. And constant compliments give me confidence. I'm across the common sense and incompetence. I'm cognizant the conflicts a consequence of accomplishments accomplished through competition. I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness. No conscious, I conjured this King Kong and just call me. Miss that the first time. If Khan could have conked him into unconsciousness. If Khan, he's shouting out Khan, artist and non porter. Did he produce this track too? That would be dope if he did. Fellow D12 member, come on. Conquered and conked him into unconsciousness. The conscious, the conscious, this King Kong, and just call me Kamikaze. I'm concocting this. Nobody 16s are touching these. My fucking index fingers fucking the Nina. Buddy, my 16s are touching, right? He's like spitting 16s. He's still got the gunplay on it, right? Like he's cocked. He's ready to go. Versus like 16, 
bars within a single verse of rap. We count it through bars and we talk about sweet 16s in a verse. I'm concocting this. Nobody 16s are touching these. My fucking index fingers fucking the Nina. Clutching the nine millimeter, touching the heat. Got the toaster like an English muffin. No, I mean toaster like you drink or something. But it's in a. I mean toaster. Like I'm toasting her, like I'm drinking something. We're raising a toast versus the toaster that you put an English muffin in versus I've got the toaster and the gun place move triple there. Nine millimeter, touching the heat. Got the toaster like an English muffin. No, I mean toaster like you drink. And you hear him in the back of this going ch ch like he's cocking it as well. Again, he's spitting these lyrical bullets, man. Fucking the Nina, clutching the nine millimeter, tucking the heat, got the toaster like an English muffin. No, I mean toaster like you drink or something, but it's in a dream to something english muffin nina tucking was that a shout out to tech nine too he's got the tech the nina nine millimeter tucking the heat got the toaster like an english muffin you know i mean toaster like you drink or something but it's in a holster i proceed to bust it fuck around and get popped like a lena hutchins like a malik baldwin what i mean is fucking you down who the girl then alina hutchins He's so good at taking someone's full name and just fitting it into his multi-syllable rhyme schemes. But this, I was wondering, I thought this was going to come because M's propensity to trolling unfortunate accidental deaths or injuries or situations like laughing at Christopher Reeves, obviously, in his horse riding accident. I had a feeling Alec Baldwin in that whole situation of him accidentally shooting someone on set was going to come into play and here it is right here and obviously he names the victim because it's Eminem Alina Hutchins was a cinematographer on set for the western film and then Alec Baldwin obviously didn't realize that the gun was loaded and he shot her Coup de Graal then, he shouts out the album, Coup de Graal shooting him between the eyes, the kill shot. Right, you're gonna suffer the repercussions, the reaper is coming like I'm Ethan Crumley. Ethan Crumley, school shooter bars, he's back on that. He was responsible for the Oxford shooting in Michigan. Come on, that's ridiculous. The whole rhyme scheme and just how he accelerates through this, man. Like, the whole line is rhyming here. It's crazy. Me to tuckin'. Heat toaster, English muffin. Toaster like an English muffin. You know I mean toaster like you drink or something. But it's in a holster. I proceed to bustin'. Chuck a drink or something. Proceed to bustin'. Man, I get popped like a Nina Hutchins. Like I'm Alec Baldwin. What I mean is fucking you down. Who the Graal then? Right between the fucking... Alec Baldwin. Coup de Graal then. Nina tucking to the Alina Hutchins. Again, he's... He's rhyming the internal multis and the external multis. It is line for line rhyming. It's crazy, man. I want to see the rhyme. Just, you know how it gets highlighted on these lyrics? Insane. And he's doing it at such a fast pace, too. And you hear the production. Like, that percussive kick is just absolutely rolling right now. And he's rotting that out. Yeah, that fucking snare is rolling like crazy. Yeah, the heat. Then I'm Ethan Crumley. That's what you're Wow. Menacing ass beating piano, cold in the back of the mix. Wow. Yeah, that wordplay, rhythms, flows, rhyme schemes, that had everything. That scared the fuck out of me for sure. I'll tell you what, man, that track just had it all for me. That might be my favorite track on the album so far. I would have loved to have seen a third verse because we normally get that Eminem third verse and maybe just like a back and forth between him and Jid. But anyways, J.I.D. killed it with his unique style, flow patterns. Eminem came through. The alliteration was crazy throughout this track in the wordplay. Eminem, J.I.D., you were Knoxville certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Listen, for some reason, you're here at the end. Obviously, you enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Show it. Subscribe. Notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. Also, bars. Gotta catch them all. Get your Knoxville hats, hoodies, merch. Go rep the brand. Go get it out there. I'll put all links down below. All right, guys. Catch you again.